so I'm going to take it back to um, the internet and uh, specifically, I think there, the question was the internet and post-secondary education. And um, I think one of the, the influences of the internet or one of the impacts of the internet is that um, connected societies have a very positive impact, but there's also a negative impact. And that is that they accentuate echo chambers um, the rich get richer, the people with influence get more influence, the popular rise to the top every time you click that I like, um, or you are rising the opinions that are already popular. And um, so one of the things that is happening within uh, educational institutions is that we're actually finding that some of those same influences are happening to educational institutions out there. Um, the larger STEM institutions are increasing in influence. The smaller humanities and arts are decreasing in influence. We are seeing um, a number of tensions that are influenced by the internet, such as formulaic uh, scripted competencies and training are rising. Self-aware, self-guided, lifelong learning, in fact, is not rising. It, it, do a search on the internet and you can see the number of Google hits for either of those. Um, data that makes machines smarter uh, and artificial intelligence-based personalization is rising while data to support learners in making informed choices, so not making machines smarter but learners smarter, is uh, a, a tension where the one is winning and the other isn't. Um, there is more and more, unfortunately, scarcity framing and winnowing of learning paths where certain types of learning, whether it's art or music or some of the things that used to enrich the curriculum before are disappearing. And rather than a diversification and personalization supported by connected learning, which is the possibility within the internet, we have a lot more Disney learning um, where we want perfect uh, entertainment as learning and a lot less of what I call wabi-sabi learning, the, mm -hmm. uh, the learning through the imperfection, uh, incompleteness, and impermanence, which is in fact, as any pedagogue that's out there knows, is, is the best way to learn mm -hmm. um, and, to tr uh, and in engages learners much more. We have exclusive learning instead of inclusive learning. Look at all of the exclusivity, elite education, et cetera, by searching on the web. We have uh, a greater um, number of uh, hits that c go on monetization of learning, how to make money through learning, how to make money through teaching, how to make money in our data, uh, rather than open education. And um, we're getting greater centralized authority and certification from everything like uh, the Common Core in the US to uh, now the adult learning standards that are international, which of course centralize authority and take it away from the, uh, the students and the instructors, rather than distributed authority and certification. So these are some of the tensions that are happening and hopefully the internet, uh, we, we can, within the internet, we can deal with these echo chambers and try to uh, reduce the technical feeding into those echo chambers. In terms of the the futures, I, I think there's th the future of education can be divided into three things. Either we can have a exclusive education and society where we have to continuously invest in um, protecting who in fact is certified. Uh, we ha have particular fields that rise in power just as we can, uh, this happens economically, we can have a paternalistic society where there is an um, power imbalance or we can have inclusive education and society. And this, this is the more complex, go to the next slide. We have three possibilities. The university is the shopping mall, the cathedral, or the town square. Mm -hmm. And uh, the shopping mall, I think, is, is one of the things that unfortunately is rising in popularity. Um, and that engenders within the institutions the uh, attempt to become more like the cathedral, to protect what we have and to resist change. Um, but I, I think what we want is we want the town square where we collectively <laughs> Uh, share knowledge, where knowledge is open and we have a, a diversity of requirements and we can serve a diversity of learners.